It has been over two months now since the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC for GTA Online released, and while it was an underwhelming update for most players, a lot of the quality of life changes in the drip feed content seemed quite promising. But what exactly do we have to show for it now, two months later? Today on the show, we will be going over the latest leaks for the upcoming DLC content releases for GTA Online and Los Santos Drug Wars, the most notable being the 50 car garage, which is still somehow unreleased to this day. But we do have even more intel on some other drip fed content that players will be curious to learn about and see gameplay of. So with that said, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So, with four major topics of unreleased content leaks to cover, let's first begin with Gerald's Cash Dead Drops. With this drip feed activity, it functions similar to some other daily collectibles, where you need to be contacted by Gerald, who says that he has some cash that you can pick up. These caches will appear in a random spot on your minimap, so they're easy to find when you're driving around doing your usual daily money grinding routes and strategies. You can only find Gerald's caches once per day, and there's also 15 locations in total that they can spawn in, so once a player does these a few times, Times over, they'll probably learn the spawns and when and how exactly they can trigger them. You can also just use the GTA web interactive map to find the spawn locations yourself. CRSN also has some gameplay showing off these Gerald Dead Drop collectibles, so credit to him for the gameplay he's provided for us. Definitely go check out his channel that I'll have linked in the description below. Next, let's discuss the street dealers who should be hitting the streets pretty soon, maybe as early as the new weekly update tomorrow. Although street dealers are not yet available in GTA Online, a reliable leaker has showed off exactly what you need to do to use these street dealers and access them. Every single day, a street dealer will spawn in different locations in GTA Online, and you can find them marked on the map and you can sell various illicit products to them. Every day, he'll pay a higher than normal price for certain ones of these illicit products, so one day, he's gonna overpay for the green stuff. The next day, he's gonna overpay for the white stuff, etc., or even overpay for acid. You could sell nearly all your illicit business products to him without too many issues. Now, just remember that you will have to own the business of that product, so you can't just sell something that you don't have. To sell that drug, you actually need to own the business. But now, let's quickly showcase a street dealer encounter and what exactly happens if you initiate a sale with one of these dealers in free mode.
After this, we have the 50 car garage. The Eclipse Boulevard garage is one of the high end garage properties that can be purchased in GTA Online, located along Eclipse Boulevard in Vinewood West in North Los Santos. And this is a special customizable property with a selection of various interiors to choose from. And the property comes with storage space for up to 50 vehicles. And this Eclipse Boulevard garage can be purchased from the Dynasty 8 real estate website for a price of $2,740,000. This one, I'm sure you may have seen some snippets of gameplay, but the garage comes with more than just the garage space. There's also interior room models, and even the exterior has some pretty neat features that I would like to include with CRSN's gameplay. And then lastly, we have all of our unreleased clothing as a part of this DLC. Some of this has already been released, but most of it has not. And there's a lot to showcase here with items like designer jeans, denim jackets, cardigans, party shirts, to canvas shoes, casual glasses, chains, cuffs, trucker hats, tattoos, masks, and more. We also have several unreleased vehicles that are a part of the drip feed. And in my opinion, it will probably take until summer at this rate for Rockstar to officially release all the vehicles for purchase as they seem to barely be drip feeding one new DLC vehicle a month with the drug wars update which is quite sad in my opinion as a side note but if you are looking for some new unreleased dlc vehicle gameplay i did showcase them all in a video i uploaded a day after the drug wars dlc launched back in december and so i will have that video linked in the description below for you to observe and enjoy now with all that said that's all we have time for today and so we will be wrapping things up right here thank you so much for watching everyone what part of the Los Santos Drug Wars drip feed are you looking forward to most? I know this update and DLC expansion to GTA Online was not even close to anyone's favor. However, I do like the quality of life changes as well as some of the drip feed content, but I'm curious to hear what you like or even dislike about this update. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHD. TV and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next GTA online video. Adios amigos.